Dog master, I've seen you working with your team and he's a full team, so introduce your team to us. Okay. And let the team say <laughs> hi. I have my Dikos here uh -huh. on my left. Uh -huh. Uh, he's Carreru, mm -hmm. he introduce himself, mm -hmm. he's really mm -hmm. okay, Carreru. Mm. Okay, Carreru, say hi to the people, introduce yourself, how long have you been training dogs? Uh, for now, this is for my fifth year uh -huh. in training. Okay, uh-huh. My name is William Mawelo, uh -huh. I'm a dog trainer at Pagana Elite uh -huh. Dog Academy. Uh -huh. I play a part as a decoy agitating the dogs mm -hmm. have been working since 2018. Now let me ask you, for, for, for decoys, this is always an interesting question to me. Why do you decide to be a decoy? Like, why do you want to be the one who these dogs don't like that much? It's my passion, mm -hmm. my career and also my job. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> sawa sawa. Now as trainers, like let me ask this general one, you can all take an answer, or like if you have an answer, one, one, one. What are some of the challenges that you've come across in this industry? Okay. The biggest challenge, let me say, on my side, mm -hmm. uh, it's when you're being brought a dog, mm -hmm. then you are, you're told to assess the dog. Mm -hmm. Then, unfortunately, you get the wrong assessment, mm -hmm. and you pick the dog. Mm -hmm. So waking up this dog mm -hmm. in time of aggression mm -hmm. will take long, mm -hmm. because you are mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. That's one of the challenges we get. Mm -hmm. And then the other challenge is when we are doing this thing, mm -hmm. unfortunately, we get accidental bites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although we are equipped, mm -hmm. we are getting a job every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for this. Okay. Yeah. Now, let me ask this question that he has raised. Like, what happens? Like, when Kisamekama Sasa, you have dogs here that are clients, dogs that you're supposed to, let's say, you're, you're training for aggression. Once you take the dog back to the owner, is there a routine that the owner is supposed to have with the dog for it to be able to maintain its aggression and agility? Ama nihivyo nihivyo. Kuna any like renewal courses, let's say, yeah. booster classes? It's, it's not only aggression, mm -hmm. even in the obedience. All around the training, mm -hmm. there has to be have a routine. Kusemi mm mechukwa hii dogi mepeleka kwa client. Niki muachia lazima poteka hii. Alafu kuna kitu naita. Uh, refreshers. Mm -hmm. So after six months, we come back. Mm -hmm. We do that refresher mm -hmm. to remind the dog. Mm -hmm. But when uh, when your dog is here, now we extend the refresher. Mm -hmm. It may take a year, mm -hmm. then we come for the refresher. Oh, okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, the mm -hmm. challenge here is mm -hmm. most of the clients mm -hmm. guide them now. Mm -hmm. Now, kuta. Amekama mitchiza skumbili tatu anayachilia. Mm -hmm. So the dog in arudi wapi? Then anarudi kusema wow. Mm. My dog has gone back to square. Okay. Yeah. People, I hope you've taken notes. I hope you've had a wonderful time. Kama kawaida, I'm your girl Linda Kenyita and this is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. Also, you can always send your questions through our comment sections and also you can DM us through all our social media handles that is at Dog TV Kenya. And also, if you'd like to partner with us, you can always send us an email via kenyadogtv at gmail.com. This is Linda Kenyita. This is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. Bye.